In this lesson, we're going to take a look at working with links inside Brizzy. Now, there's lots of different ways in which you can work with links. And I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So let's start off with this button. Let's select it and we'll choose the link icon. Once we've done that, we now have four different options we can choose from. A URL, a block, which is part of our design, a pop-up if we're using Brizzy Pro, and a file. So let's take a look at the URL first of all. So we can go ahead and just insert a normal external URL inside here. So for example, we could simply link to google.com. Now when you're using external links like this, you also have the option to open this in a new tab and we can enable that. And if you wanted to, we can also set this link to be a no follow link. Again, you can switch that on. Let's turn those off for now. You also have the option, if you're working with Brizzy Pro, of working with dynamic data. And that's what this little database icon shows us on the right hand side. For now, we'll leave that where it is. We'll take a look at dynamic data in another lesson. So that's how we can set up working with a normal URL. So let's just go ahead and test this out. Let's quickly just update our page and then we'll preview this in a new tab. So let's click our button and this will take us straight over to google.com. So let's quickly set up that option to make sure that this opens up in its own dedicated new tab, which is perfect if you want to send to an external link without losing people off your actual website. So let's try that. Let's say open in a new tab, we'll update our page and we'll simply click preview one more time. So once we've got our preview open, now if we click on our button, it will open up a new tab and take us over to the link that we've set up. Pretty cool. This time, let's take a look at how we can work with taking our link to another block or part of our design. Okay, so this time, let's take a look at how we can link this to one of the blocks that make up our design. We we'll select our button one more time and click on the link icon. We'll clear out anything that's inside our URL and we'll turn off the open in a new tab. Let's switch over to the block tab and this now shows us all of the different blocks that make up our design for this particular page. If you want to name any of these, you can simply select the block and where it says block name, you can just go ahead and type in the name that you want. We'll just call this sample. Using this method to name your blocks can be incredibly useful when you have more complex designs. So it's something I would recommend using if you have the option. Okay, so we want to link through to our services. So we're gonna choose the services block. And once we've done that, that's all we need to do. We can now go ahead, update our design, and then we can preview this again in a new tab. Now when we click our button, that'll take us immediately to the services section that's part of this particular page. So we'll click, and there we go, straight to our services. Pretty cool and incredibly easy. Next on the agenda, if you're a Brizzy Pro user, is the ability to work with pop-ups. Let's choose our button one more time. Click our link icon. This time, open up the pop-up section. You can see now we've just got a simple dialog box that allows us to choose a pop-up. We'll click on the plus, and this will now open up all the pre-built pop-ups we can choose from. Let's go ahead and pick a design that we think looks cool. I'll choose this one, and let's go ahead and test things out. So we'll update, and we'll preview. Let's click our What We Do button, and there's our pop-up. As simple as that. Okay, let's close this down and take a look at the fourth and final option. One more time, we'll choose our button and our link icon, and this time we'll hop over to the file tab, making sure that we remove the pop-up, just in case. Hit the file, and you can see this works in very much the same fashion as we have with the pop-up. We simply have the option to choose the file that we want to link things through to. So let's click the little plus icon, and now we can go ahead and choose the file that we want. I've already gone ahead and uploaded a file that I want to use, so I'm simply going to select the file and click on Select. We've now created a link through to that file. So all I need to do is update my page, preview this, and we can test things out for a final time. So let's click our button, and there we go. There's our file being downloaded. Really, it couldn't get simpler than that. Now, before we wrap things up, even though I've showed you how to do this on a button, we can still use these links pretty much anywhere on our site. So for example, let's say we want to take this particular text wooden ball. We can come in and select that and you'll see that when we've got that highlighted, we also have the link icon, which if we click, all the same options are inside there for the URL, block, file, and pop-up. So you can use this anyway. Same goes if we select an image, we have our link icon. We select an icon, we have our link icon. So you can use the same technique that I've just shown you on the button to link pretty much anything on your site design to any of those options we've got.